long day today of mending fence. So he sits down in his favorite corner at the inn and takes a sip of his drink. Just at that moment, he sees Pete walk in through the the int door. Hey Pete! What up man? <laughs> hey! Isn't that Auric? You're here again! Good day, good day! Good day! How's the day going? Oh it was uh it was a long day. Uh but good day. I found managed to find a uh, work here at What's this town again? Could you remind me Pete? I forgot. Uh this town is evergreen, even though it's not so green, but yeah, it's evergreen. Evergreen. And uh, this inn, remind me again, I have a, a bit of a fuzzy headache. Evergreen oh. inn? Evergill? Uh, it's the guild Ever house of evergreen. Guild house of evergreen, that's right, that's right. Alright, uh, barmaid, can I have a, a drink for my friend Pete? Yes, please. A barmaid um, walks over. Yeah. Ah, that Pete, would you like to hear the story of uh, my, how my day went? Um, sure, I bet you didn't go hunting alone. Uh, no, no, no hunting today. Uh, I just stayed mostly in the town area. Ah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, how's your day then? Uh, pretty good. Here, let me tell you what happened. So, uh, I've been hearing word, uh, wandering, kind of, not wandering, kind of exploring the town and I've been hearing, hearing word of people uh, looking to ban up to send uh, set war bands, and that's really interesting because I'm also planning to rally a couple of troops uh, to start our own group. And while walking around, I noticed an old woman loading unloading wooden barrels out of a wagon. Oh, yeah, really old. And I was like, I was like, oh ma'am, careful! And I rushed over and helped her unload the wagon, uh, the wagon, <laughs> unload the barrels from her wagon. And this old lady was really quite frail. I was like, oh, thank you, young man. You have strong hands. How are you with the hammer? Or it went like, I'm decent. It's like, you can head over there in the back of the house and mend the fence. We have a goat who keeps ramming the post for boredom. A when goat? Yeah, a goat. She said, she went on, when you're done, I will repay you for your work. And I, of course, that sounds great. What is the name of your goat, old lady? Billy. Ah! That goat! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, check it. And Billy went back in the corner of the back of the house. Yeah, he always do that. Oric takes a walk to the back of the house. He sees the knock down posts, searches and find tools at the back of the house of the old lady. And he starts, uh, he gets to work on the fence. Hello, Billy. Billy went back. <laughs> um, just at that moment when Sorik was working, Sorik, um, I saw I saw Mr. Tan walk by with a bag of herbs. I wave at Mr. Tan. Asked, How are you today? Was the gathering been, has the gathering been good? Mr. Tan says, Oh, hello, yes. The harvest has been well. Still a sad state to see so few travelers in this area with trouble and all. That's when I got curious and I asked him, I placed my hammer down on the sandy ground and I took some bread and I adjusted Mr. Tan to come over and sit with and eat with me. Trouble, I said. Tell me more and how did it start as I took a bite of the bread. Mr. Tan joined, joined me. He accepted the hospi my hospitality and he continued. This never-ending conflict has driven out most of the travelers on the road and the wilderness. Nothing but bandits, monsters and refugees in this part now. War is terrible, terrible thing. Mr. Tan gestured to the herb. This is my hope, to see this town bustling like the old days, by doing whatever we can. The local needs this as much as the adventurers, adventurers would. So I leans in and smelled the herb in Mr. Tan's hand. Ah, Rosemary, these are rare from where I come from. Mr. Tan smiles. You know your herb, that's good. Then they two, two are uh, they two are rare here. They are essential components to making um, sage and treating stomach disease. Bad diets are a problem with reduced crop care, diseased animals, and tainted soy. Soy replied. They go great with lamb. 
he paused and he remembers stories from the past. Every even every Friday, my old clan, the Wolf Clan, would have lamb chops night. Pete, have you had lamb chops? Lamb chop? <laughs> yeah. Uh... It's a rare delicacy over here since, after all, all the lambs have been sucked out dry of the blood. I see. Yeah. One day we will have lamb chops together, Pete. One day. I'll hold you to your end then. Yes. So, this chef, every Friday on our, in our clan, his favorite herb was rosemary. Ooh. The chef will put rosemary on everything. On steak, on pork, on chicken. Even on pie and dessert. But when he, he crushed it and made it into this sauce and he drizzled it with the meat, he would marinate for half a day and the evening half we would roast it over an open campfire. And that was the most tasty lamb ever. Crispy on the outside, slightly charred and juicy I'm I'm warning already telling you the story. And juicy tender red meat on the inside. So it pause as as he recounts all these juicy memories and he looks at this piece of white bread. Nonetheless, he takes a bite and it fills his stomach. Mr. Tan, the next time I earn enough silver, let me cook lamb chops. That, that, let me cook this lamb chops I speak of. But I need one thing from you. The rosemary herb for the sauce. Indeed, rosemary herb sauce is delicious with lamb. Excellent. If they're not dry of blood. <laughs> so Miss Tan replied, uh, You need not ask me for permission to cook, but I do suspect the innkeeper would have something to say about taking away some of his customers. Mrs. Tan gently chuckled. I would gladly sell some of my stock anytime. The wilderness provides more than enough for both of us. Uh, Oric replies, I see, interesting to know that there are other benefits, more benefits than flavouring meat. I'll remember that for the future. An old lady voice from the front of the house uh, shouts over, Young man! How are we going with the fence? So he replies, Almost done! He dusts off the crumbs from his clothing and turns to Mr. Tan. Mr. Tan, thank you for your time. I have to get back to finishing the fence. Maybe you can meet tonight at the inn. Pete and I will be here. That's where we are right now, having supper at the Evergild house. In house? Uh, it's a guild house with an inn with a bar. He needs to keep his life. There we go. I my memory is still fading in and out. I'll take note of that. Um, meat will do you well. Meat will in do us seat. well, definitely. Oh yes, let's have a sip oh. of our drink. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, Pete! <sighs> All is welcome to join us in the supper. Um, Nick wanted to join us, but I don't, I'm not sure if he's around tonight. And Mr. Tan, of course, he replied, um, Do not let me keep you any longer. I had chores to attend. This medicine would be a uh, wooden process itself. Unfortunately, I have plans tonight, so you couldn't join us. Um, he has a uh, he has prescription that would help with the town. If you, he has a prescription he has to make to help with the town. Uh, he tips his hat and says, "Good evening, kind sir. I'll take my leave and do take care." And as he left with his bag of herbs, so he gets back to work on the fence. Uh, so I finish the fence, and he actually met Nick. Um, Nick greets him. Nice, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Soik. Uh, he replies. But after after that short greeting, I have no idea where he went. As I went to finish the fence, I managed to finish the fence. I knocked on the old lady's door, and ma'am, I've done it. It is done. She hands me a copper and says, "Come back tomorrow. I got more work for you." Yes, ma'am. The old lady. Night, Oric. You can call me Edith. See you in the morning, Lady Edith. She shuts the door and the candlelight in the house goes dark. And that is where I wander back, uh, I show back to the inn to meet Pete, yourself. Uh, as I as I took a show back in the dark streets, Orwick has a small smile as he looked at his first coin. 
at his first coin. <laughs> it's a big coin. <laughs> as his first <laughs> coin, and he tucks it in his pocket. Oi enters the inn and finds his favorite corners to have a seat, and he waits for Pete. And that is how we get to here today. That was my oh, day. That was an interesting day. So you met this lady and Billy. Billy, yes. This is, this is quite lucky to be alive. Oh yes, uh, Billy. I think he's quite a stubborn goat. That's why he, uh, <laughs> with a hard head. Nobody hate. wants his. Yeah, nobody wants his blood. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, so tell me, tell me more. Do, do these vampires? Are they called vampires? Uh, they are a race of vampires. vampires. But those pure bloods are not only vampires. They have some teeth with them. Some. Bad evil vile humans with them too. And I heard the latest rumor that a wolf is working with them. Oh my god, a wolf! A wolf! Ah, such a rare sight in this land. Wow, wow. Wolf. So these vampires of pure bloods, they suck not just human blood, they suck livestock too? From what we know, they just need blood. Um, I see, I see. Whether human or not, I have no clue. I'm just an old guy, a normal guy in the village. I see, I see. Ah, I see Simon in his table by the window. His fists on his jaw and his brows far intensely staring at the scroll unrolled on the table. Shall we... Shall, shall we engage with... <laughs> Simon? I'm not sure if you reply straight away, but... Yeah, he looks to have some problem. Does he have any drinks on his table? I do not see any drink on his table. But from my memory, this I remember, he is not a fan of meat. He likes his just uh, clear water. Clear water is expensive here. That's right, It's uh, it costs double the price of meat. I. Yeah, double. Uh, since he's having problem, yeah, sure. That's all the water for him. Water for him? Yeah. Uh, Mermaid! Mermaid! The barmaid walks over. What you want, Pete? Yeah, a water for. Simon, he looks to have some problem. Did you know it's so hard to get water over? Yeah, I just get it. Fine, who's here for it? Alright, here you go. And the barmaid walks to Simon's table and a drink for you. Uh, I'm just typing whatever you just um, narrated. Yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. Oh, you got that back. Uh, Pete seems pretty engaged and intense in his uh, scroll staring. I guess we'll come back to him later. We, oh well. We go back to our corner booth. Oh, he is. Kind of scholar? Mm, yeah, so you must be reading some hard stuff over there. Yeah. Do you read magic, Pete? Oh, magic? No, no, that's too difficult for normal low-born people like me. I see, I see. I'm not, I'm not as well versed in magic as our mage, but I do used to possess a magic spear. Wow, a magical spear! Yes, a magic that, spear. That is very rare. How did you get it? I, here, here, let me tell you a story about my spear. Um, which, oh, I can pull out a picture of my spear. There we go. So, back in the years of the Wolf Clan, um, I was part of the Royal Sentinel Guards to defend the King. Uh, after his assassination, they posted me to a valley in between two mountains, and there, constantly, we, our village, uh, the Dragon Valley village, constantly get raided by dragons. Dragons? Dragons. Uh, ice God. dragons from the east mountains, and fire-breathing dragons from the west lava mountains. 
And yeah, spear. Dragons over there too. Yeah, yeah. And spear weapons are are the best to fight those dragons. Some monsters are are hard to penetrate. Their their skins and rocks are hard to penetrate. So, in order to upgrade my weapon, we bought a magical scroll and enchanted my spear. That oh. enchanting took half a day. Um, before we can enchant it. And at the end of half a day, we were constantly interrupted by there's an evil wizard, he had minions, he constantly attacked us and we had to stop our magic enchantment, that's why it took that long. Finally we did manage to finish the enchantment and the, the spear was complete and it's magical now and it comes with two magic stuns. And that was how we, I had a magic weapon for a short period. But sadly during, during the escape in the swamp, I had to drop all my armor and weapons just to stay afloat. Oh, such a waste then. Such a, such a, it's okay. Oh. I guess uh I guess we'll find new weapons here. Speaking of which, would you know when the blacksmith will be back? Oh one month in time. One month in time? time. Sound, yeah, sounds time good. For recruitment. Sounds good. That yeah. that will give me time to save up gold for for my weapon. Oh, you can find someone to make your weapon. I'm sure yeah. there'll be some people here who can at least make a normal sword. I see, I see. Yeah. You might, you might have to introduce me some of the names. I'm not as familiar with some of the villagers here. Uh, they are usually very isolated, so they don't usually talk much to people here. But um, maybe once in a while you can meet them. Sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah. Uh, so, Pete, tell tell me about your day. Any exciting My things happen? No, oh, it's just a dull, boring week. I have in the morning, wash our face, go to the well, fetch the water, and get food. Speak. Yeah, boring day, but luckily no problems. I still safe for now. Sounds like a, a good day staying alive in this dangerous Very land. Yeah. Speaking of washing of water and faces, um a day ago there was a there was a valley, the whole town went down to a poolside. Do you know what happened? Oh well, this is a normal routine. Every morning when we wake up we go to the east, go to the river, wash up and come back to start our day. Yeah. This is the only source of water we have, yeah? Right, right, right. And it's... I wasn't as clear, but I'm guessing it's something... To, some of the villagers mentioned it's something to do with the stench? Or the smell? No, oh, the smell is coming from our town, yeah. People die here a lot. Pure blood kill and rampage all. Yeah. We're still trying to get rid of the stench, the bloody pure blood. Oh, I see, stench. I see. So I remember there was a little girl who told me not to wander too far too. I was actually trying to hunt bunnies in the local fields nearby. You should go with a few people, never alone. Never alone. These fields, yes, all of this town. Because of the pure blast, bandits, monsters are all around. What about the bunnies? Are the bunnies dangerous? Depends, unless they are vampiric. Vampire bunnies, this, this. Do they taste good? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I haven't tried, but right. they don't look good. <laughs> they don't look good. <laughs> Alright, we might add that one to our menu too for the future. Yeah. Bunny oh, and man. lamb chops. <laughs> I wouldn't want to try a vampire bunny. <laughs> you must probably just kill you and cook you instead. Cook you instead. Alright. Yeah. Let's see, um, Simon is still staring at his scroll. So pretty busy all right uh, I got another long day of work tomorrow with helping Edith and I'll yeah. all right I'll see you around I'll see you around town if you need any help don't don't be scared to ask me no worries I'll keep you in my mind and I'll look out for you 
Uh, let me know. Let me know when the blacksmiths back also, and when the armies are coming. I'm really looking forward to meet them. I will. I will. Alright, see you maybe tomorrow again with them in the guild. Sounds good. Same place, man. Yep. See you. Good day, Pete. Good day. And and scene. Yeah.